on his phone. Okay. Hello, welcome to Star Family Farm. I'm Christy. Who are you? I'm Quarter. <laughs> quarter here. <laughs> Here's a Only quarter, a quarter of brain. Call someone who cares. <laughs> yep. Okay, so um, today in the chapel, we're going to talk a little bit about work. It says, a laborer's appetite works for him. His hunger drives him on. It's Proverbs 20, or 16, 26. And pretty much we've been working pretty steady to uh, get Thanksgiving underway, get things done around here. You've been working a lot. So, hence again, we're late. Okay, so should post on the weekends. This is Monday. It should go up sometime tonight, right? Okay. Um, in the barn stalls, that's you, bud. Let's go for it. Um, squirt's doing good. Okay. Did we talk about the day last week? No, nope, she didn't have it last week. She had it Monday. She had it Monday. Okay, but we were late Tuesday. podcasting. Last. No, she had Tuesday. Well, it's you better Monday. have something. Oh, bidet had a calf. That's, <laughs> that's simple. Yep. Okay, so bidet is a beef cattle. This, she's a beef cow, right? Yeah. And one of the things is we use a zebu bull, and it makes the birth weight small, which is good because then our cows can have them really easy. But what is the side effect of using the zebu bull, son? They're very spunky like the zebu. Yeah. Um, what happens to bidet when she has a spunky cow? She's a very lazy cow. Absolutely. <laughs> She hates it. The other day I had the dogs out and I was running them around and she's standing out by the fence and the calf is literally running circles around her and she's just looking at me like, can you turn him off? <laughs> and then today, what did you do? You went to check him yep. and? Yep. He was up and running around. So I locked him in a pen with her. And she was happy to have him like contained. right there contained. <laughs> She is a very lazy cow, um, but she does awesome um, when she put him down. Where'd she put him? And we lost him for like two days. Haven't seen him for two days. Yep. Um, you went and found him. Where was, where'd she have him hidden out? In all the tall grass back there. We have one section we didn't cut. Should make it thicker next year, but um, that's great, fine and dandy, except for the fact that she hid him out in there and you can't find him at all. The first pictures we had, he just blended in with her huh mm -hmm. so um we're hoping to get some better pictures of him he's really cute but he's also our only boy this year too correct tweezers we're tweezers but, yeah. okay <laughs> all right so what else is going on in the barn stalls what's been escaping the goats got out today like three times <laughs> you wire the gate I Moose, tied that's it. enough i tied it tied hey you know what this is Okay, and the final thing that happens, it, it's, it's a nose picker. It, it is not. It's a nose picker. Oh, come on. I have to use that for my ceramics. Stop it. That's gross. Um, <laughs> quit. Hey, what's the last thing that happened in the barn stalls today? Mm, I don't know. We got something in the mail. Oh, yeah. We had these tags in the mail like a month ago, and then I keep forgetting the column to get the gun to put them in. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, really? What did Ginger get in the mail? Oh, she got a piece of paper. That's mm -hmm. it. Nothing. Simple. What does that mean? It's a, it means a lot. Who's Ginger? First off, come on. Ginger is the wild burrow, mm -hmm. and she got her sh dealing whopper that you get her in the mail. Inspection. Yeah. Her certificate of inspection. So we have to get somebody to look at her. Yep. Then... We'll have the extension agent come down, and he does it for free. So he'll come and inspect her and say, "Yep, that's her." And then we'll send it back in. And then, what's with her? Hey. She's ours. That's right. She is no longer property of the Bureau of Land Management. I am out of butane, folks. I can no longer roast marshmallows. We have a fireplace, but apparently butane is the only way to do this. So. I'm going to cry. All right. <laughs> mending fences. We got the truck fixed, right? Hey. Come on. Mending fences. Yes, I'm crying now. No, you're not. You're disturbing the dogs and being a dork. And I'm tired. I've that worked all day, so too. come on. Hey, come on. Okay, what else got fixed? That's about it. Anything else break down? Nope. We didn't break it. Are you done now? No. Quit. Okay, so what else? Anything else? Other than the truck? No, right? No. Okay. Um... 
That's kind of a short mending fences. Did you work on anything? No. There had to be a piece of tin put back on the pig thing. Was that that last week or this week? <sighs> that was. Did you do it? Well, yeah. But you didn't tell him about it. Well, this piece of tin fell off. I put it back on. <laughs> wow, what an excitement that was. <laughs> what pen was that? See, the one over here. <laughs> the big pen. Yeah. Okay, Charlotte now where's Walter. Squirt and Rat? They got turned in with the three U's we're going to keep. Yep, the three U's over here. The babies that are not being bred this year. Hey, um, on the top of this torch, at the very end where the flame comes out, it says, hot. <laughs> you think? <laughs> it's kind of called a torch for a reason. <laughs> okay, so, um, Squirt and, what's his other one's name? Rat. Who? are over here with the sheep. They have um, a couple of pen, uh, fences exposed to the cattle, and the other cattle will come over with them, correct? Mm. Wow. So My fingers are getting warm. Yeah, I think that's warning. It's just hot. I know, but it just flashes. It doesn't like light. It just puffs. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it says hot. We'll see the look, guys. Okay, stop. It's out Finish of it. Butane. Finish it. You didn't even show them your big marshmallows. No, they're in my room. Okay. I need more butane so I can roast them. They haven't seen them, so they don't know why. Well, you give me some more butane, and I'll show them to them, and I'll roast them. No, just go get them and show them to them. But I don't want to get up. Okay, then quit laying on me. All right. In the yarn farm, like are we on to the okay, end of the yarn farm? Huge. They are. They're big square marshmallows. Um, end of the yarn farm. Um, January 5th is Wamego. I took the 4th off from work <laughs> because it's, what, four hours away? Right? Maybe. Um, I will be teaching Tunisian in the round, which I've got to get the hooks ordered for. And then I am going to be teaching how to process a fleece with nothing, no fancy tools. Just how to process it. Um, anything else? I'm sure there's something. Mm -mm. I still have this quarter if anybody needs to make a phone call. <laughs> Um, I think that, no, well, you had farm visits. Yeah, I had farm visits today. Okay. And? They went great. I think. Where were they from? California. California. I don't know where this is located, but they're from Orange County, California. Awesome. I've heard that before. I think there's a yeah, TV show. Yeah, I think there's a TV show. So they're from Orange County. Orange County. Yeah, they said like, I should know where it was at. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> had no clue, folks. Just FYI. You <laughs> don't know California. Yeah. Um, they could have. It could be like where Hollywood is. That's all I know in California. Okay. So. Oh, I know Los Angeles, too. And there's Sacramento. You know where all these places are? No, I just know these towns. Okay. Well, where's LA? In California. You know that's short for Los Angeles, right? Oh. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. I just want to know, is Hollywood in L.A. or is L.A. in Hollywood? Some of the towns have just grown together. They used to not be, and now they're kind of like Collinsville, Tulsa area. They just started, and now they're just all together. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a lot of people in California. Uh -huh. And they're extremely warm right now. Maybe a little smoky too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's been a lot of wild, wildfire. There's an entire town that was wiped out, correct? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so you did the farm visit, right? Mm -hmm. Moving on to in the fields. I have not even gotten out to the garden to see if my gourds are drying on the vine or if I've lost them all, correct? Well, why not? We had the snow, and I've been working, haven't I? Well, I don't know. Have you? Somebody want a smart Alec punk kid? I got a quarter. You can call somebody. <laughs> you dork. Uh huh. Okay, so I guess I'll you take that quarter and call somebody. Quarter. Dang it, my New Yorker's coming out. I'm gonna give me give me that quarter. Call somebody out. Okay, it's my quarter to begin with. Okay, um, 
so in the fields, I haven't done anything. Um, it is what it is. In the farmhouse, got a one eye there with my quarter. Um, went to the dentist. What else did I do? I subbed for a different bowling league. Mm. I have I made. I have two heads now. Oh my god. How do you do this? Okay. You are a dork. I have two heads now. <laughs> I would like to see myself. I can't <laughs> open my other eye. <laughs> he can't open his other eye to see. Girl. And then when I open one eye, all I can see is a quarter. Girl. <laughs> and then it falls out. Okay. Yeah, this is not going so well. All right, hang on. I got to do it with my right eye. There okay, go. aren't you blind in one eye? So now yeah, the right eye is one blind. <laughs> oh, I, I keep the right eye closed. <laughs> All right, in the farmhouse. The they don't. Who puts quarters on it? The quarters go on dead people's eyes. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> I've seen it in old westerns where they get quarters. Yeah, they got quarters on it. Those people are dead. And they're laying down. That's why they call their stay. Yes. Okay, so I've got my so six. Nicholas that those people have three heads? Well, it depends. Are they put? Are, do, are the coins put tails up or heads up? Well, I don't know. I never paid that close attention. I, I just assumed somebody would spin the quarters. Okay. So let's let that go, okay? So I've got my St. Nicholas Tog stuff done. I've made how many different kinds of cookies this week? I made breads this week. Um, this weekend I made pumpkin and banana bread are over there cooling now. I dipped pretzels. Um, I did all the Thanksgiving shopping. We're having uh, turkey, ham, right? What all are we having? Rolls. We're having food, folks. That's all I know. Mashed potatoes, gravy, the works, stuffing, deviled eggs. Oh, I got a bowl of eggs, too. And I'm doing it in the evening, so tomorrow is pie night. And then um, Wednesday night, we'll eat pizza. I know that sounds tacky. It's kind of our tradition because I have both uh, stoves tied up with the meat. Um, I slow cook all of mine. Um, one method. Well, we now have a microwave. So we can actually have a microwave something, too. But for a while, we didn't have a microwave. So we had to order out. We just eat pizza. I'll order can we have pizza. tacos instead? What tacos? If you make them before I get home from work, because pies well, you're are gonna call in and order and pizza. Why don't we just call and order tacos? Oh, we can go get them then. <laughs> Aren't you a wise one? I just know you're not using my stove on Wednesday night. Got oh it? yeah, you want to bet? <laughs> you want to bet? No, I'm not gonna bet. Do you okay. want Thanksgiving dinner? Right now, I really want to talk more than I want some ham and turkey, but so. Yeah. Oh, hey, I've seen this little thing on Facebook. Oh, God. Every comment starts so well with that. This lady, she was in Walmart. She's looking for the turkey. Right, she's looking at the frozen turkeys. There's a guy telling about this. Yes, yes, He's yes, written yes. it. Okay. So he's in Walmart, Walmart and the lady's, lady's looking at turkeys. turkeys. She asks the stalker. Stalker boys are stalking. She goes, Sir, do these get any bigger? He looks at her with a straight face. You wonder what he says? Well, of no, course you do. No, they're dead. <laughs> oh, they're dead. No, ma'am. No, it's no, ma'am. Oh, they're no, ma'am. They're dead. dead. Yes. They don't get any bigger. I, I did not guess they think don't. a frozen turkey could. But I would have looked at her and said... I probably yeah. would have said the same thing, though. No, they're dead. I'm not... Oh, sure, take them home, feed and water them, and they'll grow another five or six pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had right. to. He would have, been, he would have been fired. Um, okay, so we have the food. We have Thanksgiving. We have St. Nicholas Tug. Um, right? We're pretty much. Oh, I got my um, bags of candy done the day after Thanksgiving. Every What happens if I unplug this? I'm going to beat you. Uh. Then you have to start over. Yeah. Um, I got my candy bags done. So in our house, we have Christmas like it's a season. Okay, it's a long season, isn't it, son? Yes. Yeah, sure. So um, 
I think we talked a little bit about this on the last podcast, but the Friday after um, Thanksgiving, we, I don't want this little symbol. I just found this little symbol. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Anyway. It's a phone dealing whopper. You're supposed to stick your phone <laughs> there. And if it does something use... to the video, I'm going to beat you. No, if you have like your Bluetooth on and you're trying to transfer stuff and you don't have a case on your phone, you can oh. stick it there. I don't I don't even have my phone. That's good. <laughs> okay. So anyway, sorry. <laughs> rabbit hole. Down a rabbit hole. It's like you take the two phones okay. and you cut them back to back to transfer yes. okay. photos. Okay. Oh, you I didn't even know phone. mine did that. Anyway. Oh, my goodness. What <laughs> century are you living in? The 20th? We're in like the 21st century. Wait, is it, or is it 22nd century yet? 21st. Oh, could be. Um, anyway, so... On the thing, the well, Friday the after twenty second century. Hey, when does it change? After Thanksgiving, we bless the Advent wreath, and then we also start our gift giving. And we give. What do we give to everybody who comes I to our house? Here. Those are my <laughs> tweezers. Don't you dare! Um, I have those hair, folks. And I think I should like a little grill if I actually found one. <laughs> Taking one out of your beard. Um, what do we do? Picker. Come on. Come on. Quit with the nose. Tell them what we do and let's get this done. Come on. People are waiting to see it. It's still got to upload. And we're babbling. The day after Thanksgiving, what do we do? Oh, and I don't waddle around because we're so stuffed with food that we can't move. <laughs> I have to work, so I'll be cleaning up everybody else's kitchens, too. Um, I'll but be doing a lot of sleeping and waddling. We, in our house, we always give a gift to anyone who comes to our door. So the postman, the UPS man, These um, suck. strangers, anybody. Watch your mouth. You're on tape. I'm going to beat you. Look, Little kids work. do not need to talk like yours, like your mouth. They don't work. Okay, that's the wrong end. Anyway, so we give a little bag of candy. It'll have um, very little chocolate in it, but it's um, we prefer hard candies. Um, so we do the traditional cinnamon disc, peppermint, spearmint, um, root beer barrels. I don't do any whorehound because it's hard to find. Um, and then what are some of the other stuff? The strawberry, butterscotch, your old fashioned disc candy. And then we put in, this year we put in two different kind of Andes chocolates and a Hershey's chocolate. Just the little miniature things. So anyway. Yeah, do not tear those up. They actually work. <laughs> Ow. My ear. Quick. They're my retractable ones for when I'm at work. And now you made them not retract. <laughs> they work just fine. Right? Anyway. All right. So we've been doing that, right? We have the bags of candy done. We have um, St. Nicholas Tog. Which it's actually just called it's Saint Nicholas Day in English, and it's Nicholas Tag in German, and I somehow just put them together and Saint Nicholas. Tag. I don't know. Uh, hey, there's my sunglasses. Where'd you find those? Right here. They've been here for like a week. That's the one I was looking for in the truck. Okay, and then Friday I took you to a rodeo. How'd you do? All right. You wrote decent, but what I happened? Win anything. Nope, just got beat. And then um, Saturday, you went somewhere? Yep, made short round, and my head are messed. Okay. And Sunday, you went to another open, and you were? One out. One out of the average. So it's roping good, just simply getting beat. And you know there's always somebody better than you. So sometimes you just need to keep practicing and keep doing, right? Can't win them all, right? All right, anything else? Just really, really good. Big crunch bars. RJ loves his Oreo mm -hmm. things. All right. Anything else? Nope. We're off of here. I've got a quarter. Yeah. Call somebody who cares. Okay. Right. I'll call somebody who cares. He's going to call me. I don't have my phone on me. And I don't care. Bye. No, I'm going to call Thanksgiving. Dad. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy. at work. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Right. And enjoy it. Right? Right? I'll call 411.